Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So we have had a lot going on here the past few days. You know all about Belle and her recent diagnosis of shivers, but I just wanna spend some time with my horses today and give you an update on all of them. I think it'll be fun just to go around and say hi to them and just give you little updates. So let's do that. We're gonna start with the foals first and Arlo. So on my TikTok page and my Facebook page, the Free Spirit Equestrian one, I post short videos in between. Now I do post YouTube shorts too, which are just short format videos versus the long ones, but I like to keep you updated in between. But on YouTube, I can only post a 60 second short where on TikTok and on Facebook, I can post longer ones to give you updates in between. So with that being said, I've introduced Arlo to the foals. There is a video on my TikTok page showing that. And obviously Bagheera will go in here with them plus Mushu. And I will be introducing them to some of the other geldings too. I'm just taking it day by day. Hello. Oh, be nice to her. So Arlo's good with the foals, but he's kind of like a crabby crab butt. Are you a crab butt? You were all groomed. So he had lessons today and he was groomed, but he just went for a roll. They love to do that after lessons. So Arlo is my nine-year-old spotted saddle horse. He's a gray Sabino and he is a gated horse. Arlo's just stuffing his face, but he's doing really well. He's been great in lessons. I've been riding him. Kyle's taking him on the trail. So he's been staying busy. I do think that when I get another horse going in the lesson program that I have for my students, that he's gonna be one that I move along. Now don't go freaking out on me saying, that's Kyle's horse, blah, blah, blah. Kyle is totally understanding of what I do and Kyle literally rides a few times a year, like maybe three times plus. Like he hasn't ridden Arlo in months, but he finally got on him and went on a trail ride the other day when we took Mushu out. But Arlo needs to find his person when that time is right. And I feel like it's coming soon. He has done so much for the kids in the program and he's been fantastic, but he's been a lesson horse for a few years now. Plus obviously our horse, like all my horses, I consider my personal horses. Just some of them do lessons, some of them don't. But I probably will sell him this year. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure I am gonna be selling him. So yeah, but he's an awesome horse. I have a lot of fun riding him. He's super photogenic. He's great on the trails. Very, very safe, good boy. And I'm not saying this to try to promote him because I don't have him for sale right now. I can't sell him until I get another horse that's safe and adequate in the program. Just telling you what my plans are. And then we have the babies. Yes, we do. So we have Miss Esmeralda. So this is Belle's baby, if you didn't know. Hi, honey. You're gorgeous. You are just the prettiest girl. I just love you. I do. So Ezzy is eight months old now. She's absolutely gargantuan. And she is a drafty girl. So she is Belgian, Clydesdale, and American Saddlebred, but primarily draft. Like, look at this butt. It's dusty. It's a dusty butt. Hey, I groomed you earlier. And you were all pretty, and then you went for a roll. That's rude. Look at this beard. What? It is so thick. But yeah, she is doing great. So we've just been focusing on basic handling skills, grooming, leading. I am going to be doing a full boot camp, like F-O-A-L, full boot camp with her and Ariel. I'm just calling it that for fun, where we're going to be working on different things like going into the barn, going into the stalls, just different things like that. Ponying, aka having them being led while I'm riding a horse. Just a bunch of different fun things. So not 100% sure what I'm going to do that. I'm kind of waiting for the weather and then trying to figure out Bell's pasture arrangement and what would make sense. But I do have plans to hardcore work with her and Ariel and give them, you know, several days of consistent training. I mean, they're handled every day. They know how to lead, pick up their hooves. Ariel's been tied. She's going to learn tying soon. Ariel's like a month and a half older. So I wanted to wait till Esmeralda's neck was slightly more developed before teaching her to tie, but we've worked on it. I just haven't actually tied her. So those are the plans. Oh, and we're gonna be doing something really fun with them, okay? So we're gonna have a spa blowout day, but we have a purpose behind it. So I'll be putting that video out soon too. Sorry, the sun is bright, so I'm like tilting the camera and everything. So yeah, I can't wait to do that. That's gonna be fun. Oh, you just want all the loveies. Look at this head, my gosh. You just want all the love, you do. She loves scratches. Have you been a good girl? Okay, I wanna show you her beard from this angle. Like, look at that. And her feather, oh my gosh. 
She's getting so much feather. It is crazy. I know. Ignore the mud. I do drag this, I promise. Actually, I'm very surprised how good the paddock looks for February. But anyways, she's getting so much more feather. She's getting so bulky. She has tons of mane and tail for her age. Yeah, she's great. So her color is buckskin, but she's going gray. And you see these kind of spots that we're seeing right here? So those are called dapples. So buckskins have dapples and it's a sign of good health too and nutrients. I can't wait for your full shed out. That's gonna be beautiful. Miss Ariel, honey, you're gonna keep stuff in your face? You're gonna just stuff your face? So this is Ariel and she is gonna be nine months old next week. So she's getting closer to that yearling mark, but we still have some time. I'm not gonna prevent her from stuffing her face right now. What are you doing? <laughs> so Ariel is a red roan and she's gonna be shedding out soon and you'll see more of her white. Let me show you her back. It looks really glistened right now in the sun, but that's all white right there. So she's gonna have a lot more white on her. You can see here a little bit. Whoa, wow, wow. Once she sheds out. And roans change all the time, not only throughout their life, but through the seasons and especially as a foal. So again, Ariel has been busy with the basic handling skills that we've been doing with both her and Esmeralda. And Ariel actually tied for the first time up at the hitching post with Miss Bagheera. I posted a short on that. It was a big milestone for her. Even simple things like they're big wins. That's how I celebrate them at least. Those milestones, it's really cool. So the foals are doing good. And I think what we're gonna do is move Arlo and bring out the big exercise ball and see what they think about it. Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna move Arlo and go get the exercise ball. First, I think we're gonna put it in the paddock where we're at now. And then I think I'm gonna put them in the outdoor arena. So let's see how they respond. This will be so fun. And thank goodness it's just sunny and nice out. Like I needed this day. I just wanna get my mind off all of the emotional stuff that's been going on the past few days. So this is honestly fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna put <laughs> this big ball out in the pasture. Let me feel it. It doesn't bounce. No, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna put this out here. Just throw it out there, not like aggressively. As he's gonna be like, what? And let's see if the foals <laughs> will do anything. I know Ezzy's gonna come right over to it. Oh, she's scared of it. Oh no, girl, it's supposed to be a toy. <laughs> oh no, it's not scary. She might come up to it. Gosh, she's coming. Just let her look at it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it towards her. Just let her come up to it. Look at that. Yeah, she's coming now. Come on, Ezzy. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Is that weird? Good job, Ariel. Get it, get it. I want him to paw it. Get it, Ezzy. <laughs> That's cute. Kind of roll it away from the, not away, like, yeah, just to the side. <laughs> there you go, Ezzy. Go, Ezzy, go! Go, Ezzy, go! <laughs> Stop 
fun? Kick it, Ezzy. I know, she Jolly just Bell. wants to pick it up. Bought a Jolly Bell. I bought a Jolly Bell and she didn't really do much with it. No. <laughs> there you go! Ariel's like, all right, is that it? She really wants to bite it. What do you think? Go get it. It kind of rolled. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Ezzy. <laughs> Go get it. That is so funny. Get it, Ezzy. <laughs> okay, I feel like we should kick it in the outdoor. I'm gonna open the gate and then Kyle's gonna put it out there because I think they like it. They'll just have more space. Is that gate shut? Yeah. Uh oh. She knows. Oh, what's up with it? Get it. Oh no, sorry. Come on. Go get it. You guys gotta go in there. You being crazy? Yeah. They get really fast. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was awesome! Get ready, turbo mode's coming. <laughs> she can stop fast. I don't wanna go outside. 
I know. Go back to the paddock. <laughs> Good job, girls. Good girls. Oh my gosh, the foals were so adorable. I loved that. That just made my day. Watching them run and Ariel, she's just amazing. She's come out of her shell so much and Ezzy is just so athletic and funky and fun to watch. So that was really cool. All right, let's go into the other paddock. Say hi to the boys. Now I gotta get in here. This one is a little more wet, this paddock. I'm gonna get in here and drag these. I'm probably not gonna film it because number one, I'd probably drop the camera. And number two, it takes a little while. But seriously, the fact that the paddocks are like this, this time of year, is actually good. So don't judge me. This is just Michigan. I say that every video, but there's a reason why I say it. Okay, so we call this, <laughs> Jiminy's like, what? We call this the main paddock. The new bale barn has been working out great. Nobody's mane is being rubbed out. So let's just go over here and catch up. We got our big heavy duty hay net. The horses just hang out here. And Lumi, Lumiere is doing great. So Lumiere is seven years old and he is a gypsy Clyde Frisian, primarily gypsy and he's 16 hands high. Now we have some fun plans that are related to him and the foals that I was talking about earlier, that spa day video, but it's not just a spa day, it's a spa day with a purpose. So he's a part of that. Lumiere has honestly been settling in so well. He's been fantastic with the herd. He's been great about coming in and eating and grooming. We've been doing groundwork. Honestly, since I went on vacation and then all this stress with Belle, I haven't even been able to ride him since I got back, but I have been doing groundwork with him. And the weather is supposed to turn here in the next few days. It's actually decent out today, but we are gonna kick it into gear this spring. So. Again, just so much has come up, but I'm excited to continue working with him. And it's just great that he's settling in here well. No drama. Hi, Lumi, you goofball. You just chowing down, huh? But I feel like Lumi looks better too. Like, I like his weight right now. I don't want him to get any bigger. I just want more muscle in him, which will come with training and the trail rides. But he's doing good. Jiminy Cricket had lessons today. <laughs> You're just stuffing your face. So he's an Appaloosa. I bet you couldn't guess that. <laughs> so he's a red roan leopard spot. Oh, you be nice. And Jiminy has been doing great. So he is 23 years old and he's just an awesome boy. And plans with him are just to have fun, keep doing lessons as long as he's happy, trail rides, camping. And he's gonna help me train those foals someday. Yes, he got a little, actually he got a pretty big cut on his nose the other day, but it healed very quickly. So it's looking great. It just happens. Just random things like that. But yeah, he's doing good. You're so pretty, Jiminy. I just love you. And then Gaston. I had a fantastic ride on him the other day. Right when I got home from vacation, I was like, I'm going to ride Gaston because I just want to canter and have fun. And he's so silly, big and sweet. And he gave me the perfect ride. Like you were just such a good boy. I did post a short on that. So Gaston is 12 years old now and he is a Canadian horse and he's pretty drafty. He's a little bit smaller than Lumi. He's also 16 hands, but Lumi is just, what are you doing? Is just on the larger scale of that 16 hand measurement. Gaston, you had lessons today too. The kids did bareback this week. Well, and the adults. Oh, be nice to Mushy. We'll talk about you in a second. There's Zazu, he just got done with his lesson. He's in a blanket because he was clipped the other day, which I posted about. Oh, why is the focus weird? <laughs> yeah, the plan with Gaston, just lessons and enjoy him. He will be one that I eventually move along. Probably not the same time as Arlo, but similar time. But I don't know. He's just so much fun. All of them are. Oh my gosh, Mushi. You just can't handle not having attention. Gaston's going to tell you to move. Told you. You silly boy, he's fat butt. So Mushu, he's doing really well too. We've actually had some really great rides the past few days. We tried out a new saddle. Sadly, it didn't work. <sighs> he's the hardest one to fit. I do have a couple that are okay right now, but I do want to get a better one just because, you know, he's changing shape. He's getting actually wider, which, you know, that's great. But he's doing awesome. Super fuzzy. 
I will probably clip him soon too, just cause he overheats and it's just really hard for him to cool out. But yeah, you did, we did so good. He did so good though. We had some really nice canter sessions, which was great. Cause I feel like we haven't been able to canter much this winter. You got hay and you got stuff in your eye from the hay. So yeah, that's been good. So plans with Mushu is just to continue his training, get him on some trail rides. And he is one that I am gonna move along. I cannot keep every horse like and again my mission is to move horses along after working with them for a period of time there's some horses i won't move along for certain reasons like Belle, i talked about in my last video and bagheera because she's way too old and jiminy's my heart horse and then i'm probably keeping ezzy forever too because she's my first foal i don't know i just want people to understand that my goal is to move horses along and i'm keeping Lumi too i can't keep every horse my goal is to get them and work with them <laughs> hi honey He's like, what? And then find them a lovely home, okay? And I know some of you just don't understand that because you come to my channel and you watch it and you're like, wow, like the horses connect with you. And you know, you put all this work into them and then you go to sell them. Like you feel like it's unfair, but it's not. Because the whole point is I do that so then I can find another horse to educate and to find them a home. And horses have a lot better chance of not ending up in a bad situation if they have education be nice <laughs> so i just want you to be aware of that like i can't keep every horse and now i'm keeping bell too like if i do that like if i keep him i can't continue doing what i'm doing there's going to be no more going to auctions and buying horses no more completing my mission okay so it is what it is and it's almost like i'm gonna do what i feel is true to my heart but it's almost so stressful sometimes because I'm like, gosh, when I go to sell a horse, I love sharing my journey on YouTube, but it's almost like I just feel this pressure not to please people, but that I'm going to have to deal with people being like, well, why, why would you sell him? Mushu has the best personality. He's so connected with you. He's so bonded. And he is, he is, I get that. But I also have to do what I am set out to do. Like, I truly feel like that's my purpose to the core. And eventually I'll get to a point where I'm not training and doing all of that, okay? But I'm young and able right now, so I want to do that. I want to do that while I can because it is making a difference. Now, before my YouTube channel, you didn't even see all the horses' journeys and how much I helped them. And again, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just telling you. You didn't see how many horses I've changed, and now they're in just, like, the best homes. I mean, it's just amazing. It makes me so happy, like, hearing from the new owners that, gosh, like I just love this horse and it's worked out so well. Like it just means a lot. And where that horse knew absolutely nothing and they were in a crappy situation, it's been totally changed. So you guys don't, you know, some of you don't know that from the past. And I'm only telling you this because I'm speaking my truth and because I want to, I want to tell you. Zazu, I heard you were such a good boy for your lesson. So the clipping is helping him out so much. Now he's not all sweaty and awful because he's being worked. He's just happy and he's easy to groom. And then we put the blanket on and he's he's good to go. It's been great. So yeah, I think he looks really cute too. <laughs> Did you get a good drink? Zazu is just the best little horse. He's the sweetest thing. <laughs> so I'm just keeping him and enjoying him. I won't keep him forever because he's just way too amazing of a horse for me to have because he's just so kind. But he is awesome on the trails. What? That face? but he's not going anytime soon. I barely had him a year, but yeah, he is just great on the trails and lessons. He's a saint of a horse. He's so sweet. So he is a buckskin Tobiano and he's also a spotted saddle horse and he's also gated. Sazu, I love you. You good boy. You feel so silly with your little clipped hair. You sweet boy. He is seriously just such a saint. I just adore him. Oh, he has made my life so much better here and the program. Like, oh, I just love him. So yeah, he's one where sometimes I question. I'm like, he is just so much fun and I enjoy him so much. He's a hard one to let go if I decide to do that. But like I said, can't keep them all. Oh, Mushu, we forgot to tell him that you're a gypsy vanner and that you're four years old. And he's been under saddle for a few months now. I think seven months end of june is when we even started lately he's been great i think you're really gonna amp up this summer yes oh sorry <laughs> sorry he's 
He's so cute. And he has a mustache. I mean, how cool is that? Okay, now we're gonna go see how Bagheera and Belle are doing. So I have Bagheera over here with Belle to keep her company. Bagheera and Belle! Hi! Hey, baby girls, how you doing? How you doing? Okay, so Bagheera also had lessons today, and then she's just been in and out, hanging with Miss Belle. You guys would get along pretty good, huh? She's been doing great. I rode her the other day, had a great ride on her. It was just so peaceful. She's been doing good in lessons. And she's one that's a lifer here at Free Spirit Equestrian because she's 30. And I'm not gonna sell a horse that old. That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So she's a Morgan Standard bred. And Belle is having a great day. So you guys obviously have had a lot of updates on her. Today is a good day. She's hanging out, chilling. I groomed her earlier, put her blanket on. The reason I have a blanket on Belle is just because it is a little colder today, like 35 degrees, and it gets low at night, and she doesn't have a super thick coat. Plus, we're concerned, you know, I don't want her to lose any weight. Like, she's okay at her weight now. I want her to gain a little more, but I don't want her to lose. So I just have her rugged to help with that. She was a good girl about putting it on. Bagheera is a fluff butt, so she does not need a blanket right now. I think she would get overheated because it's 35 and sunny because she does have a really thick coat. Yes, happy girls. So sweet. So I am going to be figuring out where to put Belle. Like over here works now just because the weaning is still not even a month old. And like I said, I can put another horse in the paddock with her to keep her company like Bagheera or I'll put Mushu in here sometimes. Jiminy just kind of rotate them. But honestly, that is just not like the ideal situation. So I'm still figuring that out. I'm kind of hopeful that I could put her out with Lumiere. We're gonna see how it goes. I mean, he's been so chill with the other horses. I obviously would introduce him through the fence first just to see how that went. But if she could be in with Lumiere, plus with that bale barn so her mane could grow back, that would be awesome. Then she'd be in a separate paddock from Ariel and Esmeralda. Or for a couple weeks, I might move Ariel and Esmeralda, the babies where Belle is, because I can make this paddock bigger, which I do for Belle too. I'll show you in a second keep them over here for a couple weeks, work on their stall training and all of that, and then figure it out from there. So I'm still trying to decide what's best and I don't wanna cause anybody stress because obviously I don't want Belle over here that much longer. It was just a temporary thing. You're pulling all your hay out, silly. So she has this paddock, but then I open the gate. Let me show you. I open the gate here, right there, and then she has this area too. I'm actually just trying to let a little bit of grass grow so she can come back here. Um, we had construction, that's why it looks so barren right now. But there's no nails or anything out. We cleared this area out really well. But yeah, this is nice. She can have more space, come in here. Oh, hi, what are we doing? What are we doing, Belle? You good girl. Yes, so she's doing good. The vitamin E supplement should be here soon, like the actual liquid. So I'm hoping that will help her a little bit. And yeah, I'm still like really sad about the whole situation, but it is what it is. And right now I'm just focused on like, she's okay right now. And we're going to do the things to keep her comfortable. And I just have to be at peace with it could progress. I have been following Dr. DeClue, who is renowned in the shivers research, and she potentially has a treatment for it. I don't know exactly if it works. All I know is that it's a standing procedure and that's all the information I have and that was gathered months to years ago. So I have reached out to her, but I haven't heard anything about it for a really long time. So I don't know if it's successful or what the case studies have been like, but I do know that when she's done this, it's improved clinical signs and erased them. I'm not saying I'm not hopeful about it, but because I haven't heard much about it, I don't know if it's actually something that'll work. Apparently she actually came to my area, this was a while ago, and did some horses. And unfortunately those horses passed away from other issues like colic and something else. So we don't know if it worked for them long-term, but that's just something to consider. But unfortunately, if that doesn't work, the disease will continue to progress. And that's just is what it is. Also, Miss Penelope is doing great. Are you so happy? She's just the best little piggy. Yeah, she's doing good, enjoying the sunshine. Even though it's not super warm, it's not really windy and the sun is out. So it actually feels really nice outside. 
But yeah, a little update on her. She's just hanging out, grazing in the yard. You are being a sweet girl, my little piggy. Yes, she's so good. Happy girl. I just love her. Today I am wearing my Mustang Mauve lipstick. So if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, the best way to do that is to order something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. We have all different types of products for both horses and riders. So you can check that out. Link in the comments in the description. Best way to support us. All right, horse lovers. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this little update with all of the horses, plus a mini update on Belle. I just want to say, Thank you so much for all of your support and comments with the recent events with Belle and then just everything. It just means so much to not only myself, but Kyle. And I know the horses really appreciate everything you do too, even though they might not be able to read the comments. I know they're feeling the love. So just thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates. And I'll see you next time.